Let me read quickly the letter of Cyrus. You want to hear the letter of Cyrus? Amen. Amen. Verse 2, this is what Cyrus, king of Persia, said. The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and He has appointed me to build a temple for Him at Jerusalem in Judah. Verse 3, anyone of His people among you, may His God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem in Judah and build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel, the God who is in Jerusalem, and the people... And the people of any place where survivors may now be living are to provide him with silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with free will offerings for the temple of God in Jerusalem. So he issued a decree. He issued a decree. He commanded the people. Can you imagine this a foreigner commanding the people of God? He says, it's now time for you to build the temple of your God, not my God, your God. Because they have other gods. They are hidden, you know. But he was used by the Lord. The unbeliever was used by the Lord to command the Israelites to start building the temple of God again. And this was after 70 years. And the people of any place where survivors may now be living are to provide him with silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with free will offerings. Some people put together their monies and their wealth and their livestock and materials and so on and so forth. They were commanded by the king. Put together, put together your resources. Put together your resources. And build the temple of God. Build the temple of God. Verse 6, Then the family heads of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites, everyone whose heart God has moved. Can you see that again? Amen. <clears throat> God moved the hearts of all the leaders, Amen. the priests and the Levites. Hindi po ng Panginoon ang kanilang mga puso. They prepared to go up and build a house of the Lord in Jerusalem. If God is touching your heart to join us and participate in building the house of God, the project we're doing right now, do not resist. Amen. Because it's time for a blessing. Amen. It's a time to be blessed. Amen. When you bless God, God bless you. Amen. 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 You bless me, I bless you. Amen. Amen. You bless me, I bless you. It's just normal. It's just natural. Amen. You bless me, I bless you. You bless me, I bless you. I bless you, you bless me. Amen. We bless God, He bless us. Amen. We bless God, He bless us. Amen. So don't be reluctant. Don't be lazy. Be willing. Tell your neighbor, have a willing heart. Amen. Have a willing heart. Come on. Have a willing heart. If we are willing, did you know that God is looking on your heart? Amen. God looks at the heart of a person, the Bible says. And He knows the intention of every person, whether good or bad. He knows. When you think in your mind something else, and it's negative, God sees that. God can see that. In fact, in heaven, whatever you think, it gives voice. So when you think something to God, it has a voice, it has a sound. Did you know that? This is the reason why we cannot hide anything from God. Lord, I didn't think that. The Lord will say, I heard you. Huh? When Jesus was teaching, the hearts of the Pharisees and Sadducees were negative. You remember this? And the Bible says, Jesus perceived their hearts. Nakita ni Cristo, naramdaman niya. He saw, he perceived, he felt their hearts. So whatever God is 
has put in our hearts, let's do it willingly. Amen. Tell your neighbor, let's do it willingly. Let's do it with all our hearts. With all our hearts. Praise God. Chapter 3, verse 7. So, the king asked the people, Okay, you contribute from yourselves gold and silver and livestock, materials, whatever you have. Give for the building of your own church, Cyrus said to the people. And on chapter 3, verse 7, it is said in the Bible, Then they gave money to the masons and carpenters and gave food and drink and oil to the people of Sidon and Tyre so that they would bring cedar logs by sea from Lebanon to Joppa as authorized by Cyrus King of Persia. So they started giving for the Lord Amen. to build the temple of God. <clears throat> build the temple of God. They obeyed. They gave money to the masons and carpenters. Of course, they're not free. Amen. Amen. Yes, we can have some volunteers when we start our building. But there are other areas where we need to hire some people also who are specialized in those areas. But if we have everything, if we, we see that everything is there, then we will not pay money to hire other people. Amen. Here, they gave money to the masons and carpenters and gave food and drink in exchange for logs because they imported logs from Lebanon to build the temple of God. It's a big job. It's a big job. Amen? It's not that easy, praise God. But everybody should be working together. Amen. Tell your neighbor, we should be working together. We should be working together. We should be working together. Together. Verse 10. When the builders lay the foundation of the temple of the Lord, praise God. Groundbreaking. Amen. Groundbreaking. Amen. The priests in their vestments and with trumpets and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, took their places to praise the Lord as prescribed by David, the king of Israel. Everybody started praising the Lord. Everybody started making music. Everybody singing and dancing. Praise God. Hallelujah. They are very happy. Praise God. The foundation of the temple has been laid. Hallelujah. Woo! They are all excited. Amen. Praise God. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord. Amen. Can you imagine you are there and the whole country is praising God? Not only one church, the whole country. Amen. Started to praise the Lord, praise God with one mind and one heart. Praising God. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord. He is good, Amen. and His love to Israel endures forever. Amen. And all the people gave a what? A what? A great shout of praise to the Lord. Because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They praise the Lord with a very loud shout. Come on, give it praise. Those who praise the Lord now will be blessed beyond measure. Amen. Amen. Lord. I prophesy it in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Those who praise the Lord now 
your answer to your prayers will come. Amen. Praise God. Come on. Blessing comes down. Amen. People who don't praise God, they you know they, they cannot be blessed beyond measure. This is the reason why Israel is so blessed. They have the habit of praising God. Amen. They have the habit of praising God. Amen. 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 We praise in Thanksgiving. They sang to the Lord. He is good. His love to Israel endures forever. <laughs> And how many people? All. 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 How many? All. All. Is it 99%? No. How many? 100%. 100%. All the people gave great shout to praise the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. Amen. Foundation pala yan. Amen. 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 This is how excited they were. Amen. 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 In rebuilding the temple of God. Amen. We must be excited in building the temple of God. Amen. Amen. There are only few people who are given privilege Amen. to build the temple of God. Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. There are only few people who are being given a privilege to build the temple of God. We are one of those. Amen. Amen. I chose you and I appointed you to build my house. That's a great privilege. Amen. We should see this. Don't, don't, don't be negative. Amen? Amen. Amen. God hates negative thinker. Amen. You remember the spy, the 12 spies? Amen. God said to Moses, Moses sent 12 spies to Israel. I want them to be excited to see this. The land, the beautiful mountains and rivers and springs and valleys and, and all those vegetation. I want them to bring good news when they come back. What happened? The ten negative spies, they reported, instead of rose, they see thorns. Mm -hmm. Instead of seeing the blessing, they reported the hindrance. Instead of reporting nice, beautiful mountains and valleys and springs and nice waters, they reported the giants and the wall of Jericho. Negative, 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 negative. God was so angry at them, in the next chapter of that book, they were killed by God. They were killed by the Lord. And only... Caleb and Joshua was able to enter the promised land. Amen. Why? Negative. Amen. So many giants. We cannot take that. We look like we're suppers. Do you look we're suppers? <laughs> oh, <amen. clears throat> These people are so negative. They're human beings. They look at themselves as grasshoppers. We look like our suppers to them. We walk by faith. Amen. Amen. We see when well, we close our eyes. Amen. Close your eyes. I want you to see the building we're building. Close your eyes. Everybody, I can see your eyes. You're open. Close, close, close. Everybody. 
Now, I want you to see the building we're building. 